Hi, my name is Trevor Tatarchuk, Business Development Director here at Winton Homes and Cottages. For those that are new to what we do, we design, develop, and manufacture prefabricated homes and cottages and supply engineered wood products in Prince George, BC on the unceded traditional territory of the Clayt Lay Tanay First Nation. In early 2020, we were approached by Design Spark Construction to partner on an exciting new adventure through Clean BC Building Innovation Fund. Clean BC is a plan from the Government of British Columbia that addresses key areas of climate change through clean, renewable energy solutions and incentives. One segment of the plan is addressing the energy efficiency of buildings and homes. Winton Homes and Cottages join forces with Design Smart Construction and receive funding through the Clean BC Building Innovation Fund to model, engineer, and develop standardized prefabricated wall, floor, and roof components. We went all the way with this project and developed a passive house, net zero ready, demo module that meets step five of the BC Energy Step Code. The BC Energy Step Code is an energy efficiency performance standard designed to help the province meet the goals outlined in the BC Climate Action Plan. This also includes energy efficiency standards inside the home to boost insulation, ventilate smartly, mind your machines minimize thermal bridges, seal up air leaks, and think about doors and windows. Through the Clean BC project, Winton and Design Smart Construction were able to examine the requirements needed to meet higher performance standards required by the BC Energy Step Code, and how Winton might help accelerate the market for better homes in the north. For more information about the BC Energy Step Code, go to energystepcode.ca. For details about Clean BC incentive programs, go to betterhomesbc.ca. And other useful resources can be found on the Community Energy Association website at communityenergy.ca. Now that you know more about Clean BC and the BC Energy Step Code, I'd like to introduce Paul and Catherine, who own and operate Design Smart Construction in Northern BC. They offer research, design, and building consultation on high-performance projects, both residential and commercial clients. Paul is an IPHA certified passive house consultant with a Master's of Engineering in Integrated Wood Design from UNBC. He has a strong background in construction and worked 20 fire seasons with BC Wildfire. Catherine is a communications professional with a background in small business management and community engagement, as well as a sustainability and arts education for both youth and adults. With that, I'll pass it over to Catherine and Paul to walk you through the Clean BC project, where Winton's design manager, Trevor Hedstrom, will join in on the discussion. Thanks, Trevor. Paul and I advocate for better buildings because we've experienced their quality and comfort firsthand. We lived as caretakers in a demonstration passive house built by the city of Fort St. John for almost two years. As proponents of the project, we lived our lives as we normally would so that data on energy consumption could be gathered during the home's first few years of operation. We also assisted the city with public tours, education, and communication efforts. Through that experience, we saw there was a need for broader public awareness and industry education about the fundamentals of building science that contribute to building more resilient, comfortable, low energy homes. Currently, the demand for low energy homes is higher in Southern parts of the province. Northern areas with high heating demand require resilient homes that can keep occupants warm and safe while also conserving energy. We saw the Clean BC Building Innovation Fund as a catalyst to partner with a Northern manufacturer to build knowledge and awareness, create capacity, and develop products in the North for Northern climate zones. Through weekly meetings beginning in early 2020, Paul and Catherine shared their knowledge of high performance buildings, and in turn, they learned about the unique considerations of Winton's production process that would influence the design of a demonstration module. Then came the unpredictable months, early 2020, when the pandemic emerged, as well as the volatility of the lumber prices through 2021. Through some creative thinking, the demonstration module was finished as scheduled and now sits in its temporary location at Winton's main office. If you get a chance to see it, one of the things you might notice that's different about the demo module compared to a normal constructed home are the thick walls and window placement. That's right, Trevor. There are many ways to build a thick wall. Our primary focus with this project was to make sure we weren't trapping moisture in these thicker wall assemblies. To ensure that wasn't going to happen, we used software to model the moisture from condensation. 
When you have a thick wall, the temperature goes from warm inside of the building to cold outside of the building. As that temperature crosses what's called a dew point, you reach 100% humidity, and that's when condensation forms. That moisture can stay in the wall if there's restrictions to keep it from drying to the outside. Prince George is in the climate zone six, which is considered a cold climate. We designed the wall assembly for this demonstration module to meet the passive house standards and step five of the BC Energy Step Code for this northern zone. By learning how to build resilient wall assemblies to achieve the highest targets of energy efficiency, it provides a solid understanding of the building science at work, and it becomes easier to translate those learnings into lower steps of the energy code or for warmer climate zones across the province. The wall assemblies for the demonstration module is unique and took some pre-planning as we had to take into consideration lifting and mobility within Winton's existing shop, material availability, as well as prefabrication assembly abilities to produce a successful product. I'll start by taking you through a quick rundown of our step five performance wall. It begins with a typical frame wall off of our assembly line. We apply plywood sheathing for structure and tape all seams enabling it to act as our air and our vapor barrier. We also tape all panel edges. Window ROs are then lined with plywood and taped to ensure a full seal. At this point, we add our eye joist cavity. We apply rigid insulation at panel connection locations and install lifting straps to the top plates. Bad insulation can also be applied at this stage or alternatively, blown in insulation through holes in the top plate at a later date. Back framing is attached for trim installation and a vapor open wood fiber insulation is attached closing off the cavity. Being vapor open, the wall is able to dry to the outside. This is covered with a vapor open weather resistant barrier, also known as a WRB. And finally, 1x4 strapping is applied, ready for the siding to be installed on site. Now we assemble. Currently, most homes in BC are built on site using 2x6 lumber for the walls. The quality, cost, and schedule of the build is affected by the weather, site access, and schedule. One of the reasons we wanted to work with Winton is because they've been producing prefabricated home packages for over 35 years. They deliver a more accurate quality product that significantly speeds up the build time on site and reduces wood waste. Instead of framing walls out in the rain, their staff build walls in a dry covered shop. As we build even thicker walls, there's going to be more insulation and more layers in the assembly. That means greater complexity for workers to navigate on site. Working in a shop helps control for complexity and ensure quality throughout the process. It also became important to use wood-based products in this demonstration module. Wood as a product takes less energy to harvest and process compared to other construction materials such as foam or concrete. The embodied carbon of building materials is becoming important in reducing the emissions attributed to a home or a building. Operational energy is the amount of energy used to operate a building, such as lighting, heating, cooling, and hot water use. The operational energy of a building is determined by using energy modeling software to calculate the amount of energy a building will use. This is a very important part of meeting the step code or passive house standard, as energy modeling will help determine how thick your wall should be and the size of your mechanical. These pieces of the construction process fit together like a puzzle. That's why it's important to think of buildings and homes like a system. It's hard to build to a higher standard without a great team evaluating for condensation in thick walls, modeling for energy use and ventilation rates, and selecting appropriate windows and doors. Each piece of the puzzle contributes to the picture of the entire building. Even the form factor or shape and footprint of the building can contribute to improved performance and energy conservation. It's important to work together as a team. The designer, energy advisor, building envelope or passive house consultant, general contractor, engineers, 
and building inspectors. They all have an important role to play. Everyone on the team should have a strong foundation in building science and have knowledge of current and future building codes as related to energy efficiency. Windows and doors are a crucial component in building to a higher performance standard. A typical code minimum window sold for use in Northern BC might have a very low R value, somewhere in the region of R3. If you are improving your wall assembly to as high as R40 insulation, then a conventional window becomes a weak point of your wall. So upgrading your windows is probably the best payback you can get to save on operational energy. The windows for this project have a high insulation value and were graciously sponsored by Innotech Windows and Doors. They make some great products right here in BC that can meet the step code requirements and passive home standards. This demonstration building has one door and two windows. The window that opens is tilt and turn, which is a different function than most people are used to. Other products we use that are not typically found in code minimum construction include Rothoblast fasteners, Proclima tapes and membranes, and MSL wood fiber insulation. Rothoblast is an Italian construction supply company with a distribution warehouse in the lower mainland of BC. They provide tapes, membranes, fasteners, and tools for all types of wood construction. We use their carpentry screws for attachment of the eye joist insulation cavity to the two by four structural wall. And we also use their EPDM gasket underneath our sill plate. Proclima is a European tape and membrane company and their products are sold in BC through 475 Building Supply. Proclima products are used to efficiently install building control layers with a focus on making products that will not contribute harmful substances to indoor air quality. MSL is a Quebec company that provides wood fiber insulation boards. We use the 1.5 inch thick Sonoclima Eco 4 on the exterior of our thick wall. This insulation board contributes to structural rigidity of the building while eliminating thermal bridging through the studs and most importantly, allows drying to the exterior of the wall. So where are we now? Winton Homes and Cottages is continuing their learning journey to provide BC Energy Step Code compliant assemblies by working with the likes of FP Innovations, surveying the building professional community, and retrofitting exploration with the Pembina Institute. This project was made possible by the generous contributions of the Clean BC Building Innovation Fund, Innotech Windows and Doors, Design Smart Construction, and Supply Vendors.